Spend a few minutes chatting with Toledo Mudhens relief pitcher Brian Garcia, and you'll notice he has a sort of calm attentiveness or zen. Nothing's 100% in this world. I mean, things happen for a reason, I, I like to think. There's always a plan. See, the Florida native likes to sort of let things come to him rather than force the issue, such as when he attended the University of Miami to play collegiate baseball. I didn't think I'd be a closer as a freshman, and then just kind of took off from there. And most, most guys don't want to be closers. They want to start at some point because that's what, quote unquote, gets you more money in the draft. But I, I was ready to do whatever the team wanted me to. And if they needed me to start, I would have done it. But uh, the question never came, and I just kept doing what they told me to do. Which worked out perfectly. By his junior year, Garcia was named the Stopper of the Year by the National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association and left the U as the school's all-time saves leader with 43. It was everything I thought it would be and more. It was incredible uh, playing with guys you played against and with growing up. Because, uh, I mean, they stay pretty local based, South Florida. That's who they recruit for the most part. And then it was just so much fun. I mean, going to Omaha twice with those guys and the brotherhood we created. Uh, I mean, and then the record and all that stuff it was nice. And But uh, without the rest of the team, it wouldn't have been possible. They had to give me the lead in order for me to get those save opportunities. Always humble, the 6-1 righty saw his success continue after getting drafted by the Detroit Tigers in the sixth round of the 2016 draft. Just a year later, the organization would watch Garcia climb four rungs up the minor league ladder, advancing from single-A West Michigan to his current home, triple-A Toledo. I mean, it was, it was incredible. Everything was clicking. Until suddenly, it wasn't. Towards the end of that year in 2017, my elbow just wasn't feeling right. Uh, didn't hurt to throw or anything, but as soon as I got on that mound, just kind of a pain that wouldn't go away. So I threw through it a little bit, and then after the season, we were like, all right, let's go get a, let's go get a picture on this. Let's go get an MRI, and MRI showed I had a pretty significant tear. After an attempt to rehab the arm, it was decided Tommy John's surgery would be the solution. However, it would sideline Garcia for the entire 2018 season. I just took it, took it with a grain of salt. I mean, uh, put things in perspective for me. I, I realized some things I had to fix in my own personal life, and, and I think it really helped me become a better person and gave me a better perspective about baseball. I mean, this game is incredible. Nobody, nobody realizes how much we take it for granted. I think you know, most guys that get hurt at a young age or at any age, they, once the game's taken away from them, they really appreciate the fact of being able to go out and compete every day. I applaud all guys that come back from Tommy John. I mean, it's, uh, you know, to, to basically be without your arm for almost a year and a half is, 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 a, rough, is a rough go. Uh, but, you know, Brian's done fine, and uh, we're, our, our object of this year is to get him through the year, get him healthy, keep him healthy. And so next year, hopefully, uh, hopefully he's, you know, he's pain free and he, and he gets, he gets uh, and helps us in Detroit. Never doubt myself. There's always going to be a doubter. I'm, I'm ready to prove them wrong. I mean, I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be here with these guys and keep pitching like I used to pitch. I mean, I can't, I can't wait to finally make everything click like I used to. He was on the fast track of Detroit. We had a, we had a little side, a side hiccup in the Tommy John, but uh, hopefully, you know, he's got a brand new arm and he'll, he'll be up in Detroit soon.